In the previous video, we learned how we can find the cube roots of numbers in exponential form. But what if the numbers are large and are not in exponential form? Well, we use the prime factorization method. Say we want to find the cube root of 216. Our aim is to reduce this number to its prime factors. We write the number here and draw lines like these. Now we think of one prime number that is a factor of 216. We know that 2 is a factor of 216. So we write a 2 here and we divide 216 by 2 and write the quotient here that is 108. 2 multiplied by 108 gives us 216. So we continue with the same procedure. We think of a prime factor that is a factor of 108. Well, 108 is also divisible by 2 and 2 multiplied by 54 gives us 108. Again, since 2 is a factor of 54, we write 2 here and write 27 here as 2 multiplied by 27 equals 54. We stop when we get a prime number here. 27 is not a prime number and hence we continue with the same process. Now the prime number that is a factor of 27 is 3. So we write 3 here. 3 multiplied by 9 equals 27. And we know that 9 equals 3 multiplied by 3. This is where we stop. We stop when we see a prime number here. So we have reduced 216 into its prime factors. 216 will equal the product of all these numbers. We can write cube root of 216 as cube root of 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Remember, do not forget to include the prime number which is left at the bottom. So what do we do now? If you remember correctly, in squares we made pairs of same numbers and chose one from each group. In cubes, we make groups of three same numbers and again choose one from each group. Hence, to find cube root of 216, we group the three twos together and the three threes together. And from each group, we pick just one number and multiply them. So from the first group, we pick two and from the second group, we pick three. And after we multiply them, we get six. Hence, the cube root of 216 equals 6. So now we know that once we reduce the numbers to its prime factors, the task is very simple. We make groups of 3 and choose one number from each group and multiply them. And it's a good idea to memorize the cubes of numbers from 1 to 10. I am talking about the cubes and not the cube roots. Why do I say this? It's because you'll be able to find the cube roots of large numbers in a matter of few seconds maybe even 5 seconds. And when I say large, I mean numbers up to even 6 digits long. We will see that in coming videos. Keep watching and keep learning.